this is all just taking place in our country, right? In our little peeny country right here, this is what's taking place here. There is so much stuff that is going on right now. It, it, it just isn't even funny anymore. I think people are turning a blind eye to a lot of things that are going on. We are really on the verge of something really bad that's taking place. There's quite a few things that are really stacking up against us right now. And people really need to wake up and smell the roses. There is all these different things that are slowly building up and we don't know how this is going to play out in the end. And what I am talking about is the reason we have to brace for impact is because we've already had feds have stated that they're probably going to raise the interest rates even more, really raise the interest rates to a point to where people are not going to be able to afford their homes or they're not going to be able to afford their payments on their credit cards. It's going to make it to where people are not going to be able to afford their daily essential items. There are certain things we can control and there are certain things that we can't control. All the severe weather that has been taking place across the South the Midwest and everything else. And this has taken a huge toll on a lot of people. It's taken a huge toll on a lot of uh, farmers and it's taken a huge toll on a lot of normal everyday people, just like you and me. All of a sudden they are completely wiped out. They don't have a home anymore. Um, the, in some of these towns, the, the jobs that they worked at are completely gone. They have no home. And what are they going to do? Really? We have this heat dome that has been set up. And I know everybody has had to seen this, heard this or something uh, right over Texas. And now it is moving up into the Midwest and up that way. And why is that important? During growing season, most of your products that you do grow require a certain amount of heat but once the heat gets too hot with the lack of rain or water then you start having issues with the growing season compound that with this heat dome has been around for how many weeks now and it is growing in let's throw in the fires in canada and the smoke that is coming from the north, coming down through, it keeps coming through like every, between seven and 14 days, it has been coming down through and it's getting somebody. It's hitting the Midwest. It's hitting, you know, uh, comes down through Michigan, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, hits Iowa, Ohio, comes down through Pennsylvania, parts of New York, DC, and all these different areas. As this heat dome is expanding and moving north, the smoke and stuff is expanding and coming south because of the jet stream is so out of whack because of El Nino. Here's why this all matters. We have extreme heat that is moving over the main part of our area in our country that grows a lot of our food, corn, soybeans, all this different types of stuff. Now, what happens is, all right, now we have the smoke coming in from the north. And what's the smoke doing? The smoke is filtering out exactly what these plants need, sunlight. It's filtering the sunlight. And every day the sunlight is filtered, the plant doesn't grow as much. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. You don't have to go to college to be a weatherman to understand what is taking place here nobody is really talking about the uh, consequences of what is going to happen when these two entities this heat dome and the smoke that's supposed to continue on until the end of the year mind you because the fires are so huge in canada that they're not even worrying about most of these fires is just trying to let them burn out well they just keep burning and burning and burning i i don't know how many millions of acres now has burned last time i saw it was like almost eight million acres that's a lot so all this smoke is coming down through it's affecting people's health it's affecting our growing season you got the heat dome coming north which is doing just the same thing the high heat is affecting everybody that is you know has any problems 
uh, if you have asthma, if you have uh, COPD, if you have any of these things, this is all affecting that. And we haven't even mentioned, we haven't even had a hurricane yet. But the devastation in the middle of the country here is mind-boggling. We've had more tornadoes than you can shake a stick at. In some places that don't typically get tornadoes. We've had hail the size of grapefruits. It's been all over social media, folks. Why is this? Now you have the West that has is going to start heating up per the forecast and they're going to be starting to heat up and then what's going to take place out there that's the other part of our growing area california those areas out there there are certain areas out west that actually grow rice that is harvested and sold right here in this country we had this huge incredible winter season this year and in this winter season the amount of snow that fell in the mountain ranges out in the sierra nevadas and all that was just astronomical i mean history making i mean you're talking about a thousand year event you know i mean some people probably thought it was the new ice age if you lived up in there but now all that snow has really melted away lakes that have been dry for years that was turned into farmland is now all under water because mother nature reclaimed the land that is hers so on top of these different situations that are going on what is this going to affect for us this is going to affect the amount of food that's going to be on the grocery store shelves when you go to buy food this coming fall winter and spring now what can we do it is very important because the reason you need to brace for an impact because this is not going to be no soft landing i don't give a shit what the government says okay think about it folks put your thinking caps on and think about the repercussions of all these different such scenarios that are coming together all at once and what is it that we can do to try to succeed in surviving these situations and being prepared now and i urge everyone that's out there to go through your stock your pantries your cupboards wherever you store your food and take the time to really see what you do have brace for impact folks because this landing it's going to feel like we just fell out of the sky like a meteor hitting the earth unless you're prepared